Restaurants where they offer the Burmese cuisine is really cute right here. So here with the owner of this restaurant, the Cockrat Island restaurant, this is one of the places where they offer the authentic Burmese cuisine. Sarika. <laughs> uh, so what are the main dishes you have here? Okay, so I want to have all of those. You know, much of the food to be had here in this island is it has a local taste which is influenced by the Hmong people. And what makes the taste so unique is that they add this special herb called gala that can only be found in this island. And the, the owner of this place, she just apologized to us explaining that because of the flooding issues, it's really hard to find this in the season. So we're not gonna get to, to taste that much of this, of this special herb. So this is cow shed. This is a, a rice with a fragrant water. Uh, this used to be one of the royal families back in the days. Was the, used to be the royal family's favorite dishes for hot summer days. So, I was able to try. Mm, it has a very fresh taste. Is that water is pretty cold? And it has this flowery taste, which is like, oh yeah, it's, it's like jasmine. It, it makes it taste so fresh. I like it. I really love it. This is a side dish that accompanies this dish. Let me see. This is fried. It has a salty and sweet taste at the same time. This looks like a Brazilian beans. Those are beans. Mm. Mm. It has the same texture as the Brazilian famous beans but it has a, a sweet taste. This one it smells like peanut. That was right. This is peanut. Surprisingly, it doesn't have a spicy taste, which I love it. <laughs> what is this? This one has a fishy flavor really oily seems like it was fried this part is really crispy I like this one tastes really good of Discover Asian Taste. Her name is P. Jim. She's the owner of this restaurant, Cockhead Island Restaurant. And she's going to explain to me about the three uh, Burmese-style dishes. Sadika. <laughs> so, how do you make this one? What is the name? Uh, Spicy mixed vegetable soup for ganglion Thai is prepared by first boiling pork broth, adding some shrimp paste, onions and pepper. Once the soup is done boiling, add some shrimps, corn and basil leaves. Mm, tastes good. <laughs> it has like all the tastes of the... the it really has the, the taste of the, all the vegetables mixed together. And it has a taste like a, this sea taste of the shrimps. This is really good. So it's spicy. <laughs> Okay. Kong is a spicy oyster soup in curry and coconut milk. The curry paste that goes in the soup is made of onions, roasted chilies, shrimp paste, and lemongrass. 
Those ingredients must be pestle and added with the coconut milk and the oysters. Mm, it has an amazing taste. I really like it. I like it. I think that by the fact that they make it out of the fresh coconut juice, it tastes amazing. It really tastes really good. And you can taste a little bit of the curry. The spiciness of the chilies and the curry is like, it's kind of burning my mouth, but it's really, really good. The oyster, the taste of the oyster is, is amazing. It's really good. Really good. <laughs> so our final dish is the snakehead fish. It is a fried fish. I'm gonna ask her how she made it. So how do you make this? What is the ingredients? And and we made the pala is a fried snakehead fish. The fish is fried till it gets a crispy appearance. The fish is filled with sweet chili sauce, onions, lemongrass, a little bit of garlic, lemon juice, tamarind juice, brown sugar, and fish sauce. This combination of these specific ingredients make the taste go through three stages. At first, you feel the sour flavor followed by a sweet and salty taste. It is not spicy. <laughs> My pet. Really good. I like the way they have a lot of things mixed together. They do. They cook this with a lot of herbs and a lot of. There's so many tastes combined right here. You know the mango. Mango. No, green mango. Really good. It tastes amazing. I think that by the end of the show, I'm gonna be nailing all of the spicy dishes because, oh my god, I really st still feel like the spices of all those dishes together. <laughs> so I'm like eating the rice to cool it down. So this is the sweet pork with hot pepper sauce. This is spicy. I'm gonna have it with the, the rice to cool it down. But I'm really curious about it, all those dishes. I think that the Burmese cuisine is not as different from the Thai one because I think they, they put a lot of a lot of spiciness just like the Thais do. But it's good, it's good. This is the egg, right? The egg with the mm. Mm. I can taste the, 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 the taste of the pork and I can taste the very strong flavor of the fish sauce. They put the fish sauce in the, in the majority of the dishes, Thai dishes, and I think the Burmese dishes too, to to have it, to add some salty flavor to it. I really like this. It's not as spicy as, as I thought it would be. I think it's because I'm eating with the rice, so it's cooling me down. <laughs> I like makma. <laughs> really good. So you're supposed to eat this with, you know, the rice, and and there's the side things here that goes with with this sauce. I'm gonna try it with all these vegetables here. This is a small eggplant. They call it makua in Thai. I've never seen this before. I'm gonna taste it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. Tastes good. So I think this, when this goes with that, it kind of cools down the, the tastes of the spiciness and the strong tastes of the fish sauce. It's good. It actually tastes good. <laughs>what is your background? I was born in Kokret. My whole family are all Burmese descendants. Mm -hmm. When did you open this restaurant? I opened this restaurant 14 years ago. And how did you decide to open this restaurant? Why did you want to open it? Before I opened this restaurant, I was in Bangkok trying to do some other business which wasn't really successful. So I decided to go back to my hometown, Kokret and open a restaurant based on Burmese cuisine and it's been successful ever since. Now life here in Kokhara Island seems so nice and so easy, so I'm gonna ask her. So how's the life like here in Kokhara Island? People in Kokhara are really nice and kind people. They're also helpful and I know that if someone is in need, everybody's willing to help. Okay, <laughs> it's really nice chatting with you. So this is this is what this life of Kokra is all about. So it was really nice having this this lunch with you. Thank you for having me. Kapunka. <laughs>
is the old top pottery group where I found this old man so into his craft. It got me so curious, so I asked him if he could show me his work. So here he's making this, um, you know, usually the monks, they walk around in the morning with the, this jar and they walk around because people usually give, feed them, they, they give them food, so this is a place where they put the food in. So he's making like the cover of it and he's explaining that, you know, it's all handmade. He draw it all by himself and he said that it might look the same, everything looks the same, but if you actually look closer, you see there's differences in the design and that's very interesting. So I'm here with the president of the pottery group here in the Coquit Island. His name is Lum Wood. He's one of the teachers here. He teaches the young kids to, to make the pottery vases. So how long have you, have you been doing this? 50 years. So how many pottery objects do you do per day? It depends on the design. If it's more of a detailed piece that requires more work, it can take weeks or months. But if it's a simple vase, it's possible to make up to 20 pieces or more per day. So is this a traditional Mon activity? Yes, it was all influenced by the Mon So this is what I've made, and it was not easy. This is not easy work, man. <laughs> it takes a lot of practice and coordination. That's, coordination is one of the things that I don't have at all. <laughs> but it was fun, it was fun. Kapunka, <laughs> sorry. Kokoro Island is coming to an end. I had such an enjoyable time here and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And I really hope you guys follow us on our next episodes on discoveragentaste.com with me, Bruna Silva.